it's another month for our budget as we work on more saving and investing goals. Here's how we are planning to budget for our family of four living in Phoenix, Arizona. Hey guys, I'm Marissa and welcome back to my channel. Here we talk about family finance and how you can budget, save, and make more money for your family. So if that sounds like something interesting to you, scroll down and hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any new videos. And here on my channel, I share my personal household budget. So today I'm going to share with you how my family of four plans to spend our money this month. We are living in Phoenix, Arizona. So here's a look at our budget template. First off, we have Jacob's income and my income. We have this individually blocked out. My husband, Jacob, works in marketing and he works fully remote. So he's at home, which is great. And then I am a stay-at-home mom with my two sons who are going to be, Peter will be four this month and Jack will be two in June. And so I'm with them all day during the day and then I work on my business here during nap time and evenings. Um, I do social media as well as bookkeeping. I actually recently launched a bookkeeping course. If you've ever thought of becoming a bookkeeper or wanna know if it's right for you, you can check it out down in the link below. I will leave that there. I started bookkeeping in 2023 and it's been another great additional income stream for me and my family and again something that I'm able to do flexibly on my own time while my kids are asleep so if you want to learn more about that I will leave that down below so here you can see that our total income is ten thousand dollars this is what we plan to bring home after taxes 401k insurance all of that good stuff that comes out. So this is our take home pay that will end up in our bank account. So we use a zero based budget, which means all of our income should equal all of our money out between expenses, debt and savings. So let me show you where we plan to spend all of that. Um, I do wanna mention that the budget template that I am using is one that you can get yourself on my shop. I will have a link to that down below as well. And you can check it out as an instant download and you just get it one time and you can copy it over and use it. Month after month, I've been using this for several years now. <laughs> um, and yeah, this is the simple budget template that I use. Okay, so the first thing we have is the expense section. We have our tithe in African New Life. We are Christians and we believe in giving, so we give to our church and other organizations. Um, so our tithe is to our church, African New Life. We support two children in Rwanda through African New Life. Next we have is our mortgage at 230560. This is just principal and interest for our house. We moved to Phoenix from Portland, Oregon in December. We sold our house in Portland and then bought our house here. Um, so this is our mortgage payment of just principal and interest and you'll see taxes and insurance later on in this video. Next we have is HOA. We live in a neighborhood with the homeowners association, but we bought a brand new build and one of the incentives that they were running was that they would prepay your first year of HOA fees. So we don't have to pay that right now. Next we have is natural gas. This will be 2731 this month. We're not using a whole lot of natural gas right now in Phoenix. Um, basically just like hot water, I guess, because we're not turning on the heater. Next we have is electric. And this I expect to be around 120. We've actually really been trying to be intentional about our electric usage. If you are in the Phoenix area, we are on APS. There are a few different plants that you can choose from with APS, but the one that we decided to do is one that has lower charges during um, off peak hours. And then there are three hours from four to 7 p.m on weekdays where electric usage is more expensive. So we've actually been really trying to be intentional about not using our electricity during that time. So it is now getting hot in Phoenix or warmer. Honestly, I love it. I love it. It feels like a Pacific Northwest summer and I'm here for it. It's been like low to mid 90s and just sunny and perfect. I am obsessed. So um, but it has been warmer, so we have been using our air conditioner more. So what we do is we super cool the house. We bring it down to like 70 while it's still off-peak, cheaper usage hours. And then we don't turn on any air conditioning <laughs> during 4 to 7 p.m. And then at 7, when rates are cheaper again, we cool it back down. Um, so we're trying this out. We've read up on it and heard that this is a way to save on electric costs, so we will see how it goes. Um, but we are just trying to pay attention to our energy usage there. We're also running all of our appliances during off-peak hours as well. So basically our on-peak time, we are not doing anything. <laughs> um, anyway, so I think 120 is what we plan to spend for electric. If you live in Phoenix, let me know what um, your electric bills are like right now. And then also in the summer, I'm expecting this to be... 300 to 400 
in the summer. So we'll see how that goes. But we want to practice being intentional about it now so that we can have extra savings during those summer months. Next we have a stretch, which is actually it's 22. I'm going to fix that. It's 22 each month, which is really cheap. Then we have water at $90 a month. Internet is 50. And then phones, this is for mine and Jacob's cell phone, 105. Insurance, this is car insurance for both of our cars. We have a 2024 Kia Carnival and a 2018 Toyota Highlander, and that is $200 a month for that insurance. Then we have life insurance, $52.89 each month. This is a term life insurance policy on myself and my husband, Jacob. Next we have is groceries at 600 for our family. Now we actually do HelloFresh every week. And so I've shared about HelloFresh here on my platforms and I have like a referral link which anyone could have and you get like a free box of HelloFresh. I will leave it down below if you wanna check it out and get a free box of HelloFresh. But we've really enjoyed their meals and I've had credits built up because of those referrals. Um, so we do like free dinners through HelloFresh right now for a few days a week, which is really nice. And then the other times we are obviously buying groceries for um, breakfast, lunches, snacks, all of that good stuff. And still it's crazy to me that it's $600 because that feels like so much even when some of our dinners are covered. Um, but it's, groceries are just expensive. <laughs> Next we have is eating out at 150 each month. We just schedule that once a week is our eating out day and we don't really go out to restaurants right now. It's more takeout for this season of life and so $150 is what we spend each month on eating out. Then we have gas budgeted at 150 for our cars. Again, I'm home with the kids and my husband also works from home so we don't have any commuting that we're spending money on gas. It's just getting around town which is great. Next we have is fun, $50 a month budgeted for something fun, but I know that's not a lot. Then we have miscellaneous at 100. You just always need a miscellaneous category in your budget because there will always be something random that comes up. Next is our Roth IRA. We are sending $1,400 a month to our Roth IRAs. We started this in March, and so from March to December, by putting $1,400 a month to both of our Roth IRAs, they will be maxed out by the end of the year. So that is our plan with that. So we just have that set up automatically to be withdrawn from our accounts and funded to our Roth IRAs each month. Next we have is college. We're putting $100 each month into each of our boys' 529 college savings plans, and that is also automatically deducted from our accounts. So as a grand total, we have $6,572.80 going towards our expenses or money that goes out of our bank account. I know like the Roth IRA, the college savings, like that's going towards investing, but that's just money that I'm expecting to go out of my account. Next, we have our savings section. We do not have any debt besides our mortgage. Um, we don't have any car loans, credit cards, student loans, none of that. If you're new around here, we did pay off $87,000 of student loan debt. We finished that in 2017. It took us two and a half years to do. And since then, we have been striving to live a debt-free life. So here is our savings section. This is all the money that I'm keeping track of in my own bank accounts here. So we have our emergency fund. Um, this is something that we are working on replenishing. We funded our 2023 Roth IRAs before tax time and because we still had the time to do so, but we ended up having to pull a little bit from our emergency fund to be able to fully fund that, but we wanted to make sure that we had the opportunity to fund that before the deadline closed. So we're just replenishing our <laughs> savings here, taking money from our emergency fund to the Roth IRA and then back trying to refund the emergency fund. Um, basically, we want to have a six month emergency fund. And when we had to deduct a little bit from it, in order to put towards our Roth IRA, we still felt good about the place that it was at. And so I wasn't I'm not stressed to like, you know, stop putting money towards anything else so that we can replenish the emergency fund. Um, we will get there and we'll we'll be there soon. So 1180 is what we are planning to put towards our emergency fund each this month. Um, this is like every extra penny we have is going towards this right now. Next we have is property taxes. We save $300 a month towards property taxes for our house and then 6506 for insurance that will be coming due. So you can see that these are all in a different color because I actually keep all of these funds in a high yield savings account, which earns us extra interest. I've been using CIT Bank now for 
nine or 10 months as our high yield savings account and I've had a really great experience with them. I chose them because they have some of the highest rates around. Right now they have 5.05% on their platinum savings account. You do need to have at least $5,000 in this account. They also have a savings connect account, which right now earns 4.65%, which is still really high and you only need $100 in that account. So I'm with them because of their high rates and they've been really great to work with. I'll leave a link down below with them and you can check them out if you want. I would highly, highly recommend signing up for a high yield savings account because it's literally free money that you are earning on your savings. It's a great place to park these things like your emergency fund or any other, not long-term savings goals because obviously you need to be investing for more long-term savings, but savings that you're gonna have on hand anyway, like for us, our emergency fund and our property taxes and our property insurance. I'll also link a video right here and you can check out as a full review of CIT Bank if you wanna learn more about them. But again, opening a high savings account is one of the easiest things you can do for your finances. It'll take you like five minutes and have you start earning interest on money that's just sitting in your bank anyway, because a regular bank is going to earn you 10 times less than what you could be earning with CIT Bank. There's no fees to open, it's FDIC insured, you just get to earn free interest, so can't recommend it enough. Next we have is personal spending. Jacob gets 150, I get 75 each month. The only reason why mine is less is because I'm just not as much of a spender, and that's okay. <laughs> Next we have is extra giving. We put $50 a month into this fund to be able to say yes to additional giving opportunities if they come up, so $50 there. And then gifts, we have $50 going towards gifts for people's like birthdays, or baby shower, all of those kinds of things. Next we have is clothing at $50, and this is clothing for myself and Jacob. And then vacation, we are putting $200 a month into this. We're not planning on any vacation anytime soon, but we're saving for it so that if we decide to do something, we have the money set aside there and we can use that to be spent. Then we have Christmas. We are not saving anything for Christmas right now because we use a credit card that gets 1.5% cash back. It's the USAA credit card. And we just use this all year and at, we pay it off in full every single month. We don't pay a penny of interest. And then we get the rewards at the end of the year and we use that to fund for Christmas. Next we have is medical at 533.33. And we are planning to save for our family max out of pocket this year. I forgot to mention, but I'm having a baby this year. I'm having a third boy in August. We are very excited, um, but we therefore know that it's going to be an expensive medical year. I've already been paying for medical bills out of pocket so far. Um, and so we are just setting aside money for all of those medical costs here. Next we have is dues and subs. We are putting $100 a month into dues and subscriptions for any renewals and things that will come up. Then we have car maintenance at 75 each month and house maintenance at 200. We will increase this at the end of the year, but our house has a one year warranty. And so for this first year, there's not a lot of things that we will need to repair if something goes wrong because it should all be covered. But after this, we will increase this more. Next we have is household at 100 for things like toilet paper, paper towels, soap, detergent, all of those like household supplies. And then kids, we have at 300. I increased this from 250 to 300 um, because we are expecting a baby and we have been getting a few more like little baby supplies. It's great having a third boy because I don't need a whole lot, but we are going to buy like a second crib. Um, and we have like recently bought a little dresser for his room and things like that. So I have a few expenses and I will add those here as well. Um, besides that, normal things that we spend for the kids each month are like diapers, toys, um, all of those kinds of kid necessities, clothing, those kinds of things. Okay, so our total for savings is $342920. You can see our total out is $10,002, which means we have this difference that should be zero, and it's calculated to show here at two, negative $2. So I need to update this. I'm going to update it in our emergency fund because um, this is where every extra dollar is going right now. So have that updated. And now we have a zero base budget that you can see here for our budget for the month. I already just have this like automatically added into the actuals of what we're planning to spend, even though the month hasn't started yet. 
so that's why this is there but um, I'm looking at our budget for right now and this is all added to zero so this is our plan for the month of May let me know how your May is going don't forget to check out this budget template link down below as well as CIT Bank's high yield savings account definitely sign up for a high yield savings account to start earning yourself interest if you haven't already and I will look forward to seeing you in the next video bye